All right, so you've got an account. You can log into that and start using Resin Online. So today we're going to walk you through navigating the Resin Online interface, which is essentially a Jupyter Lab interface. So when you first log in, you will see in the launcher that you have access to notebooks, console, and other. So if we start with a Python 3.6 notebook, you can see that you can rename it. And then within this, you can execute some code. And you can also add comments using Markdown. And Markdown is great because it also supports LaTeX rendering. We can save our notebook using the menu. You can also use keyboard shortcuts like Control S. You can also run everything in a Python console if you'd like, just like a, you might run IPython at uh, the command line. And next, we'll just demonstrate the terminal here. This is like a standard bash terminal that you'd run on your computer locally. So yeah, if you prefer, you can use the terminal even. We also have some example tutorials that you can work through. For example, if you want to know more about Jupyter, you can work through this getting started with Jupyter tutorial. It shows you some of the things that we've already discussed and many more. And if you really want to dig in, there's a really great YouTube video tutorial available. You can also upload files. When you click this button here, you'll get a dialog that will pop up. Navigate your computer to upload a file. And here you can see we uploaded this logo. You can also download files. So maybe you create a notebook and you'd like to download it and save it to your computer. Finally, you can close running sessions using this menu here. And when you're all done, you click the logout button at the top.